Hey, bio students. Uh, my name is Mr. McMahon. Wel welcome to uh, uh, Freshman Biology. Hello, I'm Mr. Ardente. Um, I know this year is going to start out a little bit different than years normally do, but uh, we're going to try to make it fun and exciting for you anyway. And I'm Mr. Kedzie. Let's get started. Okay, so you guys picked up your biology live specimen bags and we are going to have all of you guys set up your specimens. And so what we're going to do today is we're going to demo how you will set up your specimens. Uh, Mr. Kedzie will be reading directions as I demo what you guys are going to do. All right, first step, you gotta open your bag and pull out the directions so you can read through as you're working on it. Duckweed lab setup. All right, number one, you're gonna open your Petri dish. Do we have a Petri dish in there, Mr. McMahon? There it is. Top and bottom. Now at home, you're gonna use a teaspoon to measure three teaspoons of filtered water, that's from a bottle of water, and pour it into the bottom of your Petri dish. The bottom is the taller one. Okay, so we don't have a teaspoon here, but at home you'd measure that. And now you're going to go outside and get just a tiny little pinch of soil. So add one small pinch of soil from your garden. This should be a very small amount. There's a little sprinkle from Mr. McMahon's garden there. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to let this sit for one minute. All right, so we're back. We let that sit for a minute. It kind of diffused out a little bit the, uh, the soil that we put in there for the backyard. And now we're open your microtubule, which is that, and add your duckweed into the Petri dish. Okay, so the duckweed is what's in there. You're gonna have to shake it in. You may not get it all in there, but get as much in there as you can. Okay, you should have about 10 separate duckweed plants that will settle on the surface of the water in your Petri dish. You might have more. Now you're going to take a picture of your setup using your iPad. Mr. McMahon's going to figure out his iPad here. Take a picture. Okay, the next step is to count the total number of fronds, which look like green leaves. Each leaf counts as one frond. You will add this number of fronds to a spreadsheet shared by your teacher during one of the first lessons. All right, so Mr. McMahon's going to go take us to the board here to us how to count fronds. All right, guys. So I have a picture of a kind of zoomed in, somewhat magnified duckweed plant. And you'll notice here, guys, that there's these thin structures here called fronds. They almost look like leaves, but we'll call them fronds. And this would constitute an entire uh, duckweed. This right here, when I'm kind of tracing, that would be one frond. The second structure would be two fronds. This would be three fronds, all right? In this case, we see a second duckweed made up of two fronds. Here we see another duckweed, again, made up of two fronds. And then here we see a single duckweed made up of one frond. You would record that in your spreadsheet that your teacher shares with you. But for now, just write the number that you have on your lab setup sheet so you can record it for later. All right, we're going to go back to our setup here. Mr. McMahon, how many runs do you have on Facebook? <laughs> well done. Okay, now we're going to cover your Petri dish with the lid. This is the thinner of the two halves. Place it in a well-lit area of the house like a windowsill or table for direct sunlight. You don't need to touch or move it, but just let it sit still. Go ahead. All right, so we're gonna take this to a location. Congratulations, you've now successfully completed the setup of the duckweed experiment. Your teacher will be getting back to you with some further instructions as we move forward with this lesson. Good luck, guys. Good luck.